Hi guys, welcome to another week in my life vlog. I just got ready. I haven't vlogged in like a week, so. I just put on some new twin flames. So cozy, new to me at least. So far today, I worked out, I had my whole morning routine, I had a meeting, I'm about to go drop the dogs off at the groomer and then I'm gonna come back, today's a filming day. I just filmed a TikTok of my outfit today. Also, by the way guys, Took me five minutes to do my hair today and six minutes to do my makeup. I have perfected this. Literally hair and makeup done in like under 23 minutes, so. Also, my cute little phone case is from our friend Quentin. Um, it's this Caseify collab, it's so cute. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. I make a lot of vlogs, lifestyle content, Amazon faves, style, kitchen, cooking, workout, anything you could ever want. I make it here on this channel. So subscribe if you guys are new here. I'm gonna go drop the dogs off. Today is a productive day. I feel so good. I had my little journal out this morning. That's how you know it was a productive morning. We're gonna go take the dogs to go get baths because they really need it after last week in the snow. It is actually, it's 62 degrees. The sunroof is down. It actually feels really good out today. So that's Texas for you. I'm gonna keep the sunroof down because it just feels so good. But I just wanted to say, I just was feeling obviously off last week. And this morning, this morning, I started off my entire week on the right foot, did my whole nice morning routine that I love to do that just puts me in the right headspace. If you guys want a full video on it, I can share. It's not totally different than what I've been doing, but it's definitely been like my 2021 go-to. And I just feel so much better. I've also started training again with Daylight, who was my trainer slash Pilates teacher as well in LA. And she's my favorite. Um, literally the best workouts ever. Like I am excited even already for like the next workout tomorrow. I go to bed so excited to wake up and work out. And that only happens when I work out with Daylight. So it's having a really good day and a really good morning. And I've been feeling very unmotivated. I know a lot of us have been feeling the same way. I think COVID not I don't want to say quarantine because I understand that like Texas isn't quarantined but just the like fatigue of the world is crazy right now I was feeling very unmotivated but I feel good again and I just wanted to let you guys know because I don't want you guys to ever watch these vlogs and think I'm motivated 24 7 like the past week I literally had no motivation I was doing bare minimum I'm feeling good now though thank god anyways I'm almost too their place. I hate them to Oak Clips, by the way, if you're in Dallas. I get a lot of questions about that, and I actually really like Oak Clips, so. Only getting baths today. <sighs> who's excited? Fitz, are you excited? I think it's you who's excited. I finished filming two videos. I'm going to import, send one of them to my editor, and then I'm gonna edit the other. It only took about an hour and a half. Oh my gosh, guys. <sighs> There's construction happening on my street and it is so loud. And as soon as I went to edit or to film the video, it was so loud. So that's gonna be a really big problem, um, especially because I film and I record and edit for a living. Just changed my top. This is the secret to filming. I never change my pants. Um, but I finished filming two videos. I'm feeling good about that. So I'm going to put all this stuff away get back to work um my main thing was filming today and i'm honestly shocked i got it done pretty quickly so that's a good feeling to have making yeah, some brown actually, rice pasta with exactly some marinara sauce that. for lunch nothing too oh, crazy yeah. listening to ed my with yeah. daryl strawberry i'm Real so fast. excited he's coming on my podcast daryl is because soon so i'm listening to a lot of podcasts with him and um the dogs are not done yet so i'm just making some lunch just picked the pups up from the groomers. Looking handsome. Beautiful dogs. Okay. Fitz, you look like a big fluff ball. By the way, he got shaved. He had a little bit of a skin infection. He's on antibiotics. We've just been, we've really been through it, right? Right, Fitz? Finished work for the day. Very productive day. I feel very like stressed out and anxious. Kind of killing my good mood from earlier. These dogs are not making it any easier. Do your dogs ever just like wake up and want to ruin your life? We have the culprit. You smell very good though. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm literally gonna start crying. I'm going to drink a recess drink and that is going to calm me down. They were supposed to trim her face. That's what I was trying to say earlier to make it more bear-like and less Yorkie, but I think they just forgot, um, which is no big deal. But <laughs> look at the child that I have now. Hi, are you better? Are you better? Are you better? <gasps> yes. Say hi. Hi. Oh. Okay, cutie, you look so cute. You smell so good. Keep it up. Here we go. 
cute little situation here. If you guys are new here, these are my fave, they're recessed drinks. I have a code that I'll have down below for 15% off. They're hemp drinks and they really help me chill out, which is clearly what I need. I'm so affected by my environment. I just feel like I've been like, <clears throat> seriously so good. I fill it to the top of the glass. Um, I know that's probably not what you're supposed to do, but it's okay. Okay, Fitz, are you and Coco going to chill out today? Because if not, I think I'm going to have to not be your friend. He does not care. <gasps> you are so close. You can do it. You can do it. Oh my gosh, guys. He has just started barking outside the... I mean, he hasn't even started. He's been doing it the past like, two or three months so bad. He's so loud. He barks at every single dog in the neighborhood. All of his friends. It is absolutely obnoxious. Also, like, look at how he's sitting on me. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Um, it's I believe in you. You can stop. His dog trainer comes back today, or not today, this week after, I think, a month apart. Fitz, I'm going to have to tell her you got worse. I know. I know. Look how scary you look. You're not scary. <gasps> you can do it. You can do it. I promise you. I promise. I believe in you. <gasps> I believe in you, Fitz. You can do it. We are at West Village. We're actually about to go to the Rustic for dinner because they are... I don't know exactly what it's called, but they're doing some sort of like give back thing for the Genesis, which is a woman's shelter in Dallas that got hit pretty bad through the storm. So um, I forget what, it's like a hot chicken sandwich and cheese, like right up our alley, exactly what oh, we love to eat. Um, yeah, we're like twist our arm, <laughs> but it benefits um, the Genesis woman's shelter, which has been around for, I feel like I, I read a lot of PR emails about it today. I feel like I could tell you everything about the place. It's been around for 37 years. Um, um, are you rustic? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a dad joke, so. I don't <laughs> <laughs> I wish you could have seen Dom's face. It looks like she was gonna kill me. Yeah, because that is such a diss. Like, it really is. is like, oh, it's just, like your humor is just dad jokes. I'm like, just tell me I'm not funny. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, oh my gosh, you're such a dad joke kind of person. That is really funny. I'm ordering an appetizer because oh, I'm, I'm so, hungry. so hungry. It's disturbing. So They're literally going to be like, oh my God, is it a party of 10? I'm like, no, <laughs> just the girls. <laughs> they give you like five pieces of silverware. That's not well. I'll just need one. Don't bring up all the Cut house. It. Guys, Cut it we out. Cut it. had... I can't even tell you about what happened at Waffle House. Please. No one should ever know what happened there. It was the worst night of our lives. It really was. Nothing comes lower to that moment. Than that moment. We will just never share it. I'm never talking about it. Okay, bye. Thanks. Wow, guys. We made it to the rustic. See, look. 5.45. Like, this is when I like to go to dinner. <laughs> I have the rest of the night to read. Okay? No 8 p.m. nonsense. I can't handle you youngins anymore. Meeting today. What? Yeah. Why do you keep doing that? I don't understand. It's because everyone's on the West Coast, bro. Still, you still just mess. No. Schedule it to no. This is not how that works. I everyone I work with pretty much is on West Coast too. Okay. Yeah. No way. <gasps> Casey. Skinny. Skinny. <laughs> My little sister. I think it started recording just when you said skinny. <laughs> um. Anyways, have my water. It's such a beautiful place here. Domino's like ideal food is actually so southern. Like we want barbecue and we want fried chicken. Like that's all we ever want. Dom is right now crying over the onion rings. You really do love onion rings. Do you like fried pickles? Have you had fried pickles? I haven't had fried pickles. Oh my god, they're so good. So good. It's so good. I'm literally about to die. Oh my gosh, also guys, a really nice guy here came up to me and said that him and his fiance watched me and their dog loves me. That's so cute. And he recognized it himself because I don't his fiance wasn't here. I thought she was coming after and then I realized. They were so nice and they said that I'm assuming their dog loves Fitz. Yeah. So cute. Seriously, oh, made me cheer up. It's Love. So cute. It's Fitz's bark. Oh god. Oh god. I've had enough of it today. Guys, Obi, their dog, just sent us. All of the, well, they're tamales, and tamales are actually my favorite, but Obi sent it to us. That is the Our cutest sweetest, thing ever. Perfect so baby. sweet. Literally Thank so you. sweet. An angel. The famous chicken sandwich, guys. So everyone that you buy, they give one to the Genesis Women's Shelter, I think until March something? I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, no, they're really easy. You should not try it. I feel like they're hot since you said. No, you're fine. Just try it. I can't believe Steven. He's the worst pranker of all pranks. What do you say? Look at She's this. She's actually. What? Oh! 
my god. Bro, you he really, that was so rude. We were trying to play a prank on our friends because we were bored and we got scammed. And literally just set us, like hooked us up, covered the whole thing, and brought us dessert. Like, nicest oh, thing ever. Guys, what light should I get to replace this one? Also, why did anyone, why did we ever think that these were cute, you know? First thing I do every morning is chug water. I'm actually up ready today because I am working out um, this afternoon. On today's agenda, we have Three podcast recordings. I'm recording with Terry Cole. She's a psychotherapist and we're talking about boundaries, which is one of my favorite topics I'm trying to get better about. Um, then I'm also recording with Jessica Kent, which I'm really excited about. If you guys don't follow her, you definitely should. She has a really crazy story. She does a lot of like prison TikToks and stuff, um, but very excited for that one. because Every single thing that she posts is just so interesting to me. I'm recording for someone else's podcast. Oh my gosh, I have one apple pie one left. Wow, this really made my morning. This is the best liquid IV. I know it sounds so gross. Just trust me on this. It's all me and my liquid IV. I started a YouTube channel for the podcast. So if you guys want to watch the podcast, I'm actually going to start recording at least with better lighting and trying to get the best like Zoom recordings that I can. And then also hopefully when I am able to start recording in person again, in the studio, we'll have that footage. All the videos for the podcast will be posted there. I'm, I'm trying to post some that are backlogged already too. Go subscribe, I'll link it down below. Here's my apple pie liquid IV. What a great way to start off my day. Coco is shaking. She is having a moment. She's right? having a moment. <laughs> um, we took Coco on a little girl's trip to get some Starbucks before we start off our day. Oh, I was gonna tell you, you should do a TikTok taste test of the drink because it's popular in TikTok. Oh yeah, all right. Um, Coco, you're about to get a puppuccino. You can't even see her. This just in. Um, the Starbucks, at least in Dallas, are getting oat milk in March. March. First or second week of March is what they said. Oh, you're gonna get a puppuccino. You're gonna get a puppuccino. Look at, Look Look at Coco right now, guys. She's just you. cold. I wrapped you in your mother's jacket. Hi, hi, you're fine. You're okay, you're okay. Love it's not you. even that cold outside, girl. Do you think she's sad because she's not with Fitz? Maybe. I don't think so. I think she's having the time of her life. I think she's. I think she's like, haha, living. sucks. She's like, what happened to that weird dude? I don't know. She's like, mom, when is he going home? <laughs> Thank you. you. Dom got the really popular TikTok drink. Here we go. Thank you. Have a good day. That's Julie. She's my friend. Coco okay. and Fitz love the puppuccinos. If you guys have not gotten your dog a puppuccino before, Ooh. they're free and they're literally just cups of whipped cream. I get that question sometimes. Do you think that 7-Eleven has barkeeper's friend? Yeah. It, it, it's like, um... It's like a powder, isn't it? Yeah. Right, guys, on today's chronicles of nightmares that I will fully blame on my contractor yet again, even though, honestly, to be clear, my contractor is a nice guy. These home projects have just made my life so much worse. Um, they literally just sent, I swear to God, Hitman to my front door to go intimidate me because he hadn't paid something. And Dom goes and opens the door. Or there's one guy that I know with him. And then there's two other guys standing behind him. Literally like this. I literally thought they were cool. This is what I want to add is y'all know me. I'm literally crazy. Kenzie has to talk me down all the time. I don't know if you watched her story. Cue the video. Yeah, Kenzie. You know what? If anyone ever ever has anything mean to say about you, this is what I'm going to do. What did you just say? What did you just Yeah. Try saying that. Mm-hmm. You can arrest me now. I threatened to, to stab people for Kenzie. So they really chose the wrong house to get bugged with, but the men were so intimidating. They were literally like hunchmen. They're like this. No, like, like, in what like, world do you show up to a It's like, this is Kenzie's talking, and this was the men. And I've already paid, to be clear. It's not my money that hasn't been whatever. And it's not even my contractor's fault, actually, at all. They're just trying to intimidate me. Get but in what world is it okay to show up to a 23-year-old's house? Like a fee up. And like, and like a girl, too. Yeah. That was... I, mean, that, I wish I would have recorded the whole experience. No, and y'all chose the wrong girls. Cause I, yeah, I think they thought I was going to be like crying back down. And I literally go, no. No. Like, no, Kenzie, go. She no, like, I'm like, um, absolutely not. And then I was like, and you cannot show up to my house. Yeah, you're like, you can not show up here. Oh, yeah, I and got it. Like, yeah. And that is so unsafe. <laughs> no, no, I was like, that's so incredibly not okay. I don't feel safe with you guys here. You'll need to leave the property. Like, yeah. absolutely. It was actually really scary. 
scared, guys. I'm not gonna lie. No, like, I don't get was. scared. It I literally scared. just saw the whole video on Living Alone how I don't get scared. <laughs> no, but that, like, I didn't feel scared because I knew one of the guys and I feel like he was being held hostage Coco to have him like, taken over here. I was there, girl. But why show him to my house? Coco was like, Coco, give your testimony. Girl, I was there. My mom, Kenzie, laid down the law, though. I did do some barking to let them know what was good, but. Like, my mama for real held it down. Okay, yeah. thank you for your testimony, Coco. No, that's, like, so inappropriate, so rude, so it scary. It was, like, okay. I mean, my poor contractor at that same time. I mean, no, I gave him this money three weeks ago. Yeah. Like, but, like, I understand why, and there's a reason as to why. It's not really his fault, but it's just, like... Once again, me. try me. Mom, I'll beat a bitch up. Okay, Coco girl, don't cuss. It's I mean, like, good. they literally just showed up to my house to murder me. Like, I hope you guys understand. No, that was... Oh. I'm so powerful. No, I would have had my... my. I would have been like, let's go then. <laughs> like, what's gonna... <laughs> <laughs> I literally would have been like this. Like, who wants it first? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I could do a little bit of this. I could do a little bit of that. So, it's really... The choice is theirs. And... Once again, I would recommend none of them choosing any of the above because when I tell you, I would have laid it down. And y'all would have seen me on the news too. That's the thing. I would have been on the news. I, I would have told Kenzie, set up my GoFundMe. I'm not, a, I'm, not for, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'd tell Kenzie, Kenzie, go. Well, I go take care of this. Go start setting up my GoFundMe. They literally, they literally, <laughs> black, black activist, Don Roberts, in have jail. Have AirPods by chance? I haven't. I have headphones if you need some. It's definitely like fading, fading a lot. And like, now that they brought the hitman out, I don't think I want my counter to replace. Long story short, we've had problems with the counters and they're potentially going to have to get replaced, but I think we've made it work. Um, there, it's definitely faded to the point where like yeah like before you would like recognize it that's it Kenzie I'm gonna just let you know that's it you say the word that's our that's our word if you need me to fight someone I'm gonna say go fund me <laughs> just go fund me cuz that's I'm gonna need I'm gonna do the bail funds all yeah. of that I'm gonna yeah. do mutual aid everything yes. Venmo cash app I'm gonna say go fund me cash app Venmo start setting it up all right guys the children here they are are just having a nice afternoon. They're being very good. Isn't that right, Fitz? All right, I'm gonna show you guys how I make my matcha. I've been getting a lot of questions about this. I did an Instagram reel as well. If you guys need to come back to it, it's quicker on Instagram. This is the matcha I use um, for no particular reason. I was gifted it and it's just what I've had in my cabinet. I'm no matcha pro, by the way. Um, if you guys have good matcha recs, leave them down below, but I do like this a lot. I normally make myself an afternoon matcha. I'll drink coffee in the morning and then I'll have a matcha. This is my frother, very inexpensive on Amazon. It's important because it has a cold feature as well. I know that espresso frothers have those. I've had an espresso frother as well, I just happen to have this one right now. I really like this because I'm able to froth it cold. Also, this is my favorite milk. Califia Farms coconut almond milk, the best. Okay, so I pour in my milk and then I get two teaspoons cold. And then it just frosts it all together, which is so easy. All right, once we're done, just pour it into my glass. These glasses, by the way, are the beer glasses. I got them. Um, They're recommended to me by Molly. And I will just go on and top it off with cinnamon and honey. And that is it. That's how I make my matcha. Just recorded with Jessica Kent. It was so incredible. I absolutely love her. I adore her. I think she's the most incredible human being ever. So good. I'm recording with Terry Cole in 30 minutes. I'm excited. As we know, I made my matcha. Finished my recordings for the day. Um, they were very emotional today, honestly. I talked to Terry Cole all about boundaries. Um, we went into the mother wound too, which I thought was so interesting. That one won't be going up until I think April because that's when her book launches. I would love to have it sooner, so we'll see what I end up deciding for that. But um, very, very excited about the podcast these days. I feel like I'm always excited. But I'm especially excited right now. It's 3 p.m. I think I want to go work out before I do more computer work just because I've been sitting here for so long and I'm just very bored. I just love Terry Cole. I felt like that was just, it was such a relaxing afternoon. I was almost brought to tears. Also, I have to tell you this because I'm just so excited. Okay, so I'm having Daryl Strawberry on my podcast. And if you guys don't know who Daryl Strawberry is, um, 
that's crazy. He is a legend in Major League Baseball. Um, he played, I think, 17 seasons. My dad is a huge fan. He was actually my stepdad's favorite player growing up, too. So I get, like, major bragging rights, basically. But he's coming on the podcast. I am so excited. His story is insane. Um, I'm just so excited. Okay, guys. Have to... Oh, my gosh. This has been burning for so long. I'm gonna go work out. And actually, Dom and I are having a meeting as I do 12 through 30. So I need to get downstairs. All right. About to do 12 through 30 and then Pilates. Um, I'm trying to play some Britney Spears music videos in the background as Dom and I have our meeting for a very exciting endeavor, if you will. Very exciting. Very exciting. <laughs> Just showered, self tan, um, finished my workout. It was a great hour and a half workout that I really needed. I feel so much better. I'm about to head downstairs. I'm gonna clean, cook some dinner, all of that stuff tonight. We're watching The Bachelor later. So I'm in charge of dinner. I have a very big unboxing haul. They're behind on packages. So I received like, I mean, the amount of packages actually covered our front door today. So I'm gonna start off with my Amazon purchases. I got the raw Nespresso pods, great. Um, I got new scrunchies that I thought were cute. I'll link these below, mainly because they had a chocolate brown one, but I liked the colors. I also got these Amazon leggings to try out. They were only $26, and Julia Haven said that they are softer than the Lululemon Align leggings, which, like, I don't know how that works because Lululemon Aligns are the softest, most comfortable leggings ever. If you don't have a pair, you need a pair. So I'm excited to try this on. I'll let you guys know what I think, probably in this vlog. Oh, I replaced my white hydro flask. I don't know where mine currently is. It's probably in my car and I'm sure I'll find it, you know, now that I got this one. It's okay, it's not a bad thing to have two of. And I drink so much water with my hydro flask and just having it with me like 24 seven is great. So the next thing I will show you, oh, I got some OK Sis merch. Look guys, so cute. It's so soft. Like I actually cannot believe how soft this like crew neck is. Love it, so excited. Oh, love my girls at OK Sis. Um, oh, I got the Pretty Basic Tarte collab. Very exciting, congrats Alicia and Rem. Love this, we have a lip gloss, we have lashes, and then we have a palette, which I love. So very excited about that. Next thing, I got some clothes from Revolve. Look at my new shoes. Guys, I will be wearing these every single day. Like every single day, I will be wearing these shoes. I'm gonna get them in every color, and this is what I will wear this spring. It's a dream, it really is. Okay, I got this really cute pink set. These little, which, oh, I would have gotten these pants in a small. Honestly, I got them in a medium, so I would get smaller just because they're pretty big. But these pink silky pants. We have this like matching baby doll top, which is so pretty. I got these bottoms. I already have the top that matches, so I just thought that they would be perfect. And they're just, actually, maybe I don't have a top that matches. I feel like I might. Anyways, they're also just a great pant to have. Super cozy, very comfortable. Um, I got another sweat set, actually. Um, I really liked the color. This is from 637. I got medium and bottoms. I probably, just looking at these, should have gotten a small. And then I got this top, which I like the cut. I typically stay away from like crop hoodies and stuff because it's just I don't know I've been really into them lately but I liked this cut so I got these I got two coats which are really cute the first one is this one it's a lot cuter when it's not zipped up like this but love this look and then this is super fun this big brown jacket with the fringe love that love 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 that last two things I got this is from Wild One, which is a very like boozy dog line, but they're sold in Target now, so they sent out some PR. We have this great conditioning shampoo that I will use on Coco. Um, a nice dog leash, which we actually, I'm always in need of new dog leashes and stuff. A bolt by a chew toy for dog. Fitz will love this. Some new treats, which I'm going to do a little training session with Fitz tonight. So hopefully he likes those. And then just some more bags. So that's super cute. And then, I kid you not guys, right before I opened this, I was talking about how hungry I am. And I'm not making dinner until later because we're not watching The Bachelor until later. But look at all these beautiful, healthy snacks. This is from The Goods Mart. Very, very exciting. Oh, a dark chocolate. <gasps> Red vines. Oh my gosh. This is just... Oh my gosh, wait, no way. 
Purely Elizabeth, this is my favorite granola. It is so good. All right, guys, I'm making some dinner. This is supposed to be for three people. So um, this is definitely not enough for three people in pasta. Um, I, I was out of broccoli, so I'll make it work. I am making just pasta with broccoli and kale, my favorite pasta sauce. I always use this to season vegetables. It's from Trader Joe's, really good. This is the pasta that we're having tonight. Very exciting. We're having a bachelor night. We have the wine out. My realtor uh, dropped this off for me this week. I know nothing about wine other than I just like white wine. So that's what we're doing. No, dog, I guarantee that Ben is not gonna take a photo. Yes, he fucking is. It's fucking Ben. <laughs> <laughs> asking this weekend. Okay guys, someone commented, Dom posted a photo on her bunny ears. It's like her real Gen Z thing. I guess it's like a legit thing. Yeah. And someone commented on her Instagram that they thought it was from like face swelling and that's why she was wearing it. So now in response, she's wearing them all night. <laughs> <laughs> Wear them, open the door for Ben, see what Ben says. Hugging and a kissing, flirting and like, are they fun? Like, they're just kind of, they're kind of crazy. They're just, kind yeah, they're kind of crazy, yeah. Kind of flirty. Yeah, they're so fun. That's literally like, the books. They're like, what are those? They're like, fucking, you don't understand, you're in a frat. We're really horrible, we're horrible. Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday morning. I'm taking some meds. I'm about to go take the dogs out and then go work out. So these are the leggings that are supposed to be Amazon dupes for the Alliance. They are so soft they're 26 dollars i got them in a size medium and i wish i would have gotten a size small just so they're a little bit tighter i don't know if you guys can even see with the sliding but they're so soft i love them i'm gonna get another pair in a size small just to have two but i'm so impressed like guys i'm wearing my new revolve set i think yesterday i said i would maybe have gone a, a size down in these and i actually take it back i think the medium is actually a good fit it has a little drawstring too so i was able to make it a little bit tighter um i probably could have gotten a small but i do like the size and the fit of a medium in case any of you guys were wondering for sizing references i always i try to share because i get questions and you guys say it's helpful i'm typically between a small and a medium it really just depends and then if i get oversized stuff like in tops i'll typically get maybe like a large this is just a medium i really like the cut i just like the cut of this better so this is my outfit for today i have my normal jewelry on i actually need to put my hoops on just got ready i'm wearing my new amazon scrunchies i have a bunch of meetings today i have a meeting with my manager today then dom and i have a, man a meeting with part of our teams today after I have a recording. Oh my gosh, I'm getting my windows clean. Adult things that just really excite you these days. And then I think I just have my computer work and stuff. But yeah. <gasps> what did I do? Oh no. I clearly got some. I got something right here, of course. I'm so tired of myself. <laughs> Within one sip of my smoothie, got it all over myself. Why? We're getting ready for our meeting. Woo! Um, do you think it's possible to take a photo of me outside? Oh, wait, we might not have to. Yeah. Dang it. Well, okay. if this, I don't think this is going to be long. Yeah. If that. I feel like it'll be Paige being like, okay, yeah, get true. more solidified. Yeah, we just need to go straight into the meeting. No funny talk, no, no funny, funny business, no funny business. Say, so, listen, we're going straight into the meeting. Don't worry, we're taking this very seriously. I'm going to hit him with the hey queens. Hey queens, we're ready for the meeting. Let's get started. Yeah, and then that's all. Normally in meetings, I have to be like, okay guys, we're ready. We just be serious people. Very serious. Very serious. Getting on the Zoom already. Okay, okay Lord, have your way. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Um, this isn't the most uh, serious meeting we've had, <laughs> so that's why, yeah. Anyways, okay, bye. All 
Sorry, just finished my meetings and recordings. I made a big salad. And Melissa would help inspired salad with the Mary's crackers and everything. So we have tomato, avocado, cucumbers, spinach, um, hummus, Mary's crackers, Primal Kitchen dressing, olives, hummus. I think I already said that. It looks really good. 3 p.m. I'm drinking my afternoon matcha. I'm actually going to take the dogs on a little walk around the neighborhood, listen to a podcast. I think I'm actually going to take a break from my computer for the next hour, probably. I really need to um, organize my closet. I'm gonna go through, clean that up a little bit. I need to do laundry and stuff, so I'll take you guys with me. I feel like I'm always decluttering, but I'm planning on doing my closet room within the next like month or so. So I need to go to Ikea and like really plan it out. I'll probably do that in a vlog where I can um, take you guys through like the whole process of designing the room, planning the room, all that stuff. I'm just so tired right now um, that I can't really think straight. So I'm going to put my um, headphones in. I don't know where. I lost Fitz's. Oh my gosh, I found it. I found it, I found it, I found it. It's just a certain collar that I like for walks because I feel like I have a better grip on him and he's not the best on walks yet. We're working on it. So I'm gonna go outside, take myself for a nice relaxing walk and I will talk to you guys when I get back. Um, life hack for midday slump, matcha, really into that and then getting outside. Even if it's just for five minutes, it can really like give you so much more energy and shift your day um, rather than trying to like work through it because I feel like then I just get more tired. Mary's crackers. So, by the way, I feel like all of my vlog is literally from this kitchen counter, so I'm sorry, but I have Mary's crackers. Influenced by Melissa Wood Health. I put them in my salad today. Very good, big fan. Okay, so just as you see, the closet has gotten a little bit unorganized. I really just need to take my laundry down as always. So I'm going to go through, clean this up, hang some new pieces, go through my bathroom. And Just did all of it in 17 minutes, got a lot done because I actually focused and zoned in. So I'm gonna take my laundry downstairs, which is like my least favorite thing to do because I always wait, as we know, until it's way too much and then I have to carry it down a bunch of stairs and it's really just a recipe for disaster. Clutter and I like don't do well, my mind just goes crazy. So the least amount of things possible, the better. Also, by the way, having this hydro flask back in my life has changed the game. I've already been drinking so much more water than I even normally do. Best thing ever, I'll link it below if you guys have not picked up a Hydro Flask before. It's 5.30, I finished my work day about 30 minutes ago. I have another great tip for you guys in today's vlog. When you work for yourself, there's essentially always something else to do. I feel like this works for any job as well. I could have spent the rest of the night editing a vlog and just kept working, but I made myself stop at 5 p.m. I took a nice bath, I got in pajamas um, already, and I'm going to cook some dinner. I'm so hungry, so I'm gonna take you guys with me when I'm cooking. Also, I've been loving this wine wicks candle. The scent is sea salt and orchid. It smells so bomb. Also, I wanted to share this with you. I'm actually gonna try them for the first time, but this company sent me their dark chocolate truffles. Um, you guys can see this. Enriched with the Chinese herbal formula to relieve the worry of hormonal acne and ease periods naturally. Very exciting. So when it's your time of the month, these are supposed to like really help. And I'm gonna have one or two. We'll see. They look really good though. Here we go. Tastes very good, everyone. For dinner tonight, I am doing another Melissa Wood Health recipe. I've been trying out her recipes just because they're very healthy and honestly, they're really, really simple. So I'm just making some gluten-free pasta with some kale. Okay, so it's her recipe is spinach, eggplant, and pasta. What was that? Spinach, eggplant, and pasta deliciousness. So I have some eggplant in the oven. I'm currently um, waiting for the pasta to be done. We have some good old gluten-free pasta, and then I have just some kales, just some green kales. I cannot talk, just some kale, some greens for the side. I'm so hungry, like it's unbelievable. So I'm very excited. Also, I'm so excited to finish my book tonight. I just need like a very chill night to myself. Mom is getting her hair down with my sister right now, so she's been gone. So this is what I made, just some gluten-free pasta, kale on the side. Then I have eggplant, some marinara sauce, and some cheese. It looks really, really good. I'm gonna watch a video as I eat, and then 
I mean, it's 6 p.m., but all I want to do is read for the rest of the night, so that's probably what I'm going to do. By the way, that dinner, which I already just cleaned up, was the best dinner I've had in a long time. That's going to be my no go new go-to, but I just opened some packages. I got this new package from Summer Fridays. I'm so excited. It's, it is their new body lotion. I'm so excited to try this. Summer Fridays is one of my favorite skincare brands, and I just, I'm so excited. Speaking of, okay, so one of the co-founders of Summer Fridays, Lauren posted about eight greens to her story the other day. Oh, a facial and a glass, love that. This gives you all the greens that you need in a day, supposedly, from what I've read. I'm really excited to try these out. But this one, okay, so this is blood orange. This one is melon. This one is a facial and a glass. I'm very interested to hear more about this. Yeah, this is just the original, so I'm excited for that. Last but not least, I got a package from Eleanor. She is the founder of Year of Ours, and she just sent me over a bunch of Year of Ours goodies, which I love Year of Ours. Also, this set together, like, so cute. Also, this nice black tank top. Just love this. Very excited. I'm gonna wear one of these tomorrow. All right, guys, I'm about to go to bed. This is what I do every night. I have my workout clothes ready in the morning. Sorry for the black lines. Does anyone know how to fix that on the camera? Fireplace is going. I've dimmed my lights. Tonight I have a dessert. Normally I don't have dessert, but I have some leftover from the rustic. I have my water. I have my five minute journal, my devotion. I do that in like five minutes, my Kindle, and then I read. I'm gonna finish my book tonight. I'm very excited. I'm reading The Butcher by Jennifer Hillier. And I morning children. We bonded again last night. They've been doing better. I have to show you. Good morning, everyone. I have to show you what I'm wearing. The Year of Ours leggings, they're so cozy. You can't even really see like, the fit. Oh, that was dog's water. Very cozy Year of Ours tank top, very fitted. Um, I just have on a Lululemon sports bra. I want the matching um, sports bra with these leggings because I will wear them 24 seven. Dayla has always worn Year of Ours so much. I've only had, I think, one set. I really liked it, but I love the stuff I got. So cozy. And then I have my gray jacket on i just made a tiktok of this outfit if you're having deja vu but this jacket i think is like ten dollars it's really good for morning walks that's what i'm about to do is going a morning walk i'm not working out until 11 because i'm doing a live workout with daylight so i'm gonna go to walk and then start working and then work out at 11. we're also doing clubhouse today with maddie and scout or i am i have therapy the house is getting cleaned here's my really cute little morning workout outfit look okay i'm gonna leave go to the dogs on a walk listen to a podcast I'm listening to a podcast with Lindsay Peebles Wagner, which I'm really excited for. All right, guys, I'm back from my walk. We went on an hour long walk. It was very nice this morning. I just made a very random breakfast. So avocado toast, then I have a half of the avocado with balsamic, weird for breakfast. I know, but I wanted to try this. I got it from the Good Smart. It's everything butter. You guys can see everything there. I put way too much on on accident, but it looks good. Good morning, guys. I um, have already vlogged today. I don't know why I said good morning. I just made a latte, but I accidentally frothed all the milk. I wasn't thinking, and it's not that good. Like I was saying, I'm working currently on the Living Room Newsletter. If you guys want to sign up, I'll have it linked down below. Right now, I'll tell you what I'm writing about. If you're new to faith, like getting back into faith sort of thing, my favorite faith books, faith-based podcast. Um, there's actually a few more submissions that I'm gonna do. That's exciting. So you just get an email once a week um, with links to everything. I wish that I wouldn't have messed up my coffee, but you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna get all of these set up. I need to do the same thing for the I Love You So Much newsletter, which I've been really slacking on. So I'm gonna do that as well. It is 11 a.m. So exciting. I feel like every time I'm in here, I'm like telling you that I'm doing something different with the gym. I am actually getting rid of a lot and I'm going to turn the office into a closet room as we've already talked about and then this gym is gonna be like all new levels. But I'm just waiting because right now Dom is staying in the office and she won't be staying there much longer. I'm waiting for my Zoom class to start with Daylight. She's not gonna be there that much longer or here that much longer. So then after I can really start doing that stuff. I absolutely love these leggings and this top. I will have them linked below. I also got them in that really cute pink color and I'm so excited to like wear the set and stuff. Anyways, I'm working out. Directly after, I'm getting on Clubhouse with Maddie and Scout from OK Sis. Follow me on Clubhouse and then after I have therapy, then I'm gonna shower and then keep working for the day.
I clubhouse, went to therapy, uh, virtually I do it on FaceTime most of the time, and took a nice relaxing bath while listening to a podcast. Now I'm in a chocolate brown outfit, so cozy. So now I'm resuming my work day. I wanna show you guys my outfit because it feels so cozy. These are my favorite pants. I got them, dang it, I'm forgetting. Are these nasty girl? I'll have them linked below, Nasty Y'all are misguided. It comes with a matching top, but I didn't feel like wearing the top today. I just really wanted to wear the bottoms. I think they're so cute. My brown scrunchie, which came in that pack of scrunchies that I will have linked below. Love those. And then look at these shoes. I just love, love them. I feel like you get a better vibe for them here. These are from Revolve. They come in multiple colors, and this is what I'm going to be wearing this spring and summer. I don't even care. If it's weird to wear in the summer, I will be wearing them 24-7. I had a few packages, just opened them. Alani New sent me a package. Um, but I got a pre-workout, which I never use, and I really want to. So I'm excited to try this out. I'm excited to try out their energy drinks. I'm gonna drink these while I work out. And then I have these little bars, which look so good. I'm really excited to try those. I also got some shoes from Steve Madden. I'm working with them on Instagram. So I need to shoot that tomorrow. Very fun, exciting stuff, guys. All right, I air fried some salmon. I'm my new air fryer. It looks totally different than how it normally does, so hopefully that's good. This is my lunch. Looks incredible. Going to get back to work. Hours later, my room just got deep cleaned. It feels amazing. And I got all new bedding from Target, which I'm really excited for. I'll have this linked below. I need a new bedding. Um, and I got a king because I don't know where I heard this, but... Anytime things are styled and they look like, you know, it's actually like over the bed and comfy and fluffy, it's always a size up and I have a queen and it's never big enough. And I just wanted to be very big. So I'm gonna do that. Hopefully this is what my Euro Shams fit. Um, I got another one of these pillows because, oh, it looks different. Euro Shams are literally $30 at Target. I'll link them below, like what a steal. One of them was stained, couldn't get it out. So I just got a new one, only $30, not a big deal. Update on the new bedding. Love, love the king size. It's a little bit further down on this side so I can switch it. I need to cut off the tags on the pillows. Um, the only downside to going up was that I only had room for one of the king euro shams, but I'm going to use that. I'll sort, I actually don't know what I'll do. When I eventually, the one thing I feel like I lack is just like a storage closet of some sort. So when I get my office and turn that into a closet, gonna be really helpful to have my closet turned into like a storage closet so i'll keep extra sheets extra pillows things like that right now they're over here i might bring them down to the garage i'm not really sure but i love it it's super soft super com super comfy also a very good price very inexpensive so i'll have it linked below but anyways i just put on my new redheads merch i had to get it to support Margot. so cozy so soft i love the podcast if you guys like reading um they have the redheads book club podcast Love, so cozy. Dom, I'm starting to vlog without you. Hi guys. We are in the absolute best mood. So the house just got clean. I got a lot of work done. Hi Vince, I don't normally get my house clean. It's like once or twice a year. Dom and I were just talking and so many good things have happened today and just many like exciting things to look forward to have happened. And I was saying, do you remember like five, five months ago, and we were like, I just want to make it through the next five to six months because I know things are going to be so much better then. And now we're here and things are so much better. And the, the time in between really sucked, don't get me wrong. Um, but it's just very exciting. Fitz is just sitting here waiting. Um, I'm just so pumped. Also, these shoes are like the cutest shoes I've ever, ever owned in my entire life. Just telling them how good life is. I mean, can you believe it? Can you believe it? It is just so good. Uh, I mean, uh, this is what happens when I decided to become a Christian again. Oh, I'm how excited. She's not. I'm not kidding. <laughs> yeah. Ever since I rededicated my life, <sighs> things have turned up. Things no, really things are up. actually on the up and up. And I was Thank literally God. like, it feels weird to be happy right now. Yeah. Like, it literally feels weird because I feel like everyone, it like, I don't know, just everything has been so bad for so long. So to actually have a good moment, it feels weird. Yeah, but this is probably the best I've felt since, like, the pandemic started. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This like, is the closest I've ever felt to, like, feeling normal. Yes. It just feels good. But Dom has a very exciting shoot that you guys will know about in, like, a month. Um, and that's yes. in Dallas. It's a very big deal. There's some like COVID testing and stuff. I just haven't vlogged that. 
not anything that we're gonna vlog um i say we as if it's like our joint channel i am going tomorrow for part of it so that's very exciting i'm not gonna film there but how did you film today by the way because did you sneak it oh you're allowed to film oh you are you i'm allowed to do whatever i want yeah oh okay yeah and you're everyone kept asking you about you because it was like my arrival and your arrival was like the biggest deal. Oh, I didn't know I was supposed to go today. Oh, no, you didn't have to. Oh. They just put you on the call sheet. Okay. They have you as my assistant, which like clearly <laughs> you're not. I'm like, if anything, I'm fucking Kenzie's assistant. But that's just what Brittany put you on. So like yeah. no one will like ask you questions or be like, who are you? No, they'll probably put me to work. No, what the fuck? They're not even going to talk to you. The whole time they were like, oh, is, um... Is Kenzie coming? Uh, is Kenzie coming? Oh, we're just waiting on Kenzie's arrival. And I was like, oh, she's not coming today. Sorry. But they were like huddled in a corner, scared to ask me. And then they were like, oh. I mean, guys, it's like a very big deal. And it I was just, very, very it was just deal. really, really, really freaking funny. Well, also, what's so crazy, too, just on the topic of like how much things can change in a year, right? A year ago now, I had just moved in here. You were in LA working at Nordstrom. You were still in ZLC. Yeah. I had just finished ZLC, bought this house, was moving in here. My life, social life, relationally, everything was so different. I was about to go to Nashville. And now I'm so much happier than I was at that place. I'm so, so much happier. Yeah. I was talking to my therapist today about it. And I was like, things that I was so upset about a few months ago, I literally don't even think about. I forgot that they've happened. People that were in my life, I literally... Forgot they existed. It's no. so crazy. It's just so crazy how much has changed. Like, everything has changed. Yeah, like, literally everything. everything. So, it's just, like, really crazy that all of this is happening now and stuff. Also, we have a different car guy. Tomorrow? Yeah, because... Did I tell you oh, this? You like him? No, this car guy is wearing a mesh mask. Oh. Yeah, and would not stop talking the whole ride. And I literally was, Brittany was like, did anything happen? Are you okay? Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, girly, like, we need, I need a different driver. I'm so sorry. I feel bad asking, but like. Yeah. She was like, oh my gosh. I'm surprised you asked that because you were so afraid. Of yes, but I was like. But that's, no, that makes sense. I was like, after today, like, I was like, I can't do like, it. Imagine being the most irritable you've ever been. Yeah. And then someone just like. Yeah, too much. No, I, yeah. Too much. Um, too much. Yeah, Dom got picked up in, for a car service, and I texted our friend. I literally was taking photos the whole time. I was, like, trying to get photos, and, yeah. This is so funny. I was literally like, thanks. I, like, opened my own door, Yeah. and, yeah. and I, I guess you're not supposed to do that. Yeah. Oh, and at the shoot, too. I was dressing myself, because they had the, there were, like, two assistants, and... She was like, oh my gosh, like, no, it's okay, like, and I was like, oh my gosh, stop, like, it's all good, sister. Like, so we can, like, take photos tomorrow, oh. but, like, to post later. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 we can literally do whatever I thought I want. saw no photos. They said that because for everyone else. Got it. Except us. Yeah, since I'm your assistant, I'll talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They were just, like, the only thing, they were just, huh? like, yeah, as long as, they are like, yeah, this can all go live after April 1st, and I was like, cool. I really don't think it's like that far fetched for us to get a digital show. Oh. Especially after just what's gonna happen next. Yeah. We're getting a show with MTV. We need to I'm watch it. I'm gonna keep Can listen. we watch Brett, Brett Rockman's show? Guys, if any digital places want to give Dom and I a show, think Simple Life meets us, we we will not say no. We just, we won't say no. We not only will no. we not say no, but we, we'll give you the best show of your entire life. But we will sell out. Yeah, 100%. 100%. 100%. So we really need that to happen. Oh, hi, Fitz. Oh. Look. <laughs> hi. Fitz, Fitz I mean, look, camera to talent, ask. talent right here. Yes. Oh my gosh. I can't believe he's back to being a perfect dog again. I know. We're Thank proud God. Of you. I'm so proud of you, Fitz. This is our pitch deck. This is just, this is just it. Just Fitz. Coco, it, honestly, she's, she'll come when she feels like it. I mean, you have to do Coco it. Coco gives not one shot. She's a no. teenager right now. Yeah. Um, so she's very independent. I don't know. Hi. Oh, hi, Fitz. Okay, we have an idea. Um. Okay, well, first off, I'm going to turn off the cameras because we have business to talk about. Yeah. And um, this Fitz. dog is just being, oh, my gosh. <gasps> wait, wait, Fitz. hold on. Stay right there, Fitz. Stay right there, guys. This is how he he just flopped on me and now he's kind of off. 
I mean, just so sweet. Oh. This is how he sleeps. He slept on me, like, curled up like a baby last night. <gasps> Look at yeah. the size of his paws, guys. Kenzie tried to make Fitz watch Air Bud, and he was not, not having it this he morning. Was, he loves TV, so I was like, maybe he wants like, a dog TV show. I thought it was a cute show. No. The dogs were adorable. Like, I should have Fitz, Fitz lives for drama. He loves Bachelor, loves Shit's Creek. He loves Gilmore Girls. Loves Gilmore Girls. So he really just likes good TV. Morning, guys. Hello. Are you excited? I'm so excited. Yay! Okay. I just want to say how weird it was to wake up early and get fully ready and leave the house. Yeah. For something. Yeah, that's crazy. It felt incredible. We stayed up last night until like midnight, which is way past my bedtime. Way we had past. the most fun night I think in all of the it past year. It was literally a slumber party. It was so fun. Yeah. He came in and just came up to me on the dance floor. And like literally right when I saw him, I was like, I always say it was like love at first sight, which I think is like the cheesiest thing ever. And I never believed that. I was like, that's literally like a fairy tale like phrase. But it's like this little like thing that you feel when you see someone. It's like a little.